Day 10 of 18 in 2018 is for all of you on the road running a concert tour. It's very common to program your show as one song per page. It works great. It'll be even easier to move around those pages if we write some macros to get us there. As always, start by backing up our show and rename it to reflect today. If you don't have the show file, take a second to download it from the link in the YouTube description or at my website, consultrainer.com. Let's start with making a view on screen two. I'm going to put the page executor pool in the bottom half. The top half will be my macro pool. In here, you want to scroll to a section with lots of free space around it. This is where we'll store our song page macros, and we want to have space to move them around and reorder them when we need to. Store this as a view and call it songs. We don't have much for pages in this show file. Page one has the sequences that we've been working with in the 18 and 2018 series, and page two has the sequence from my timecode video. For me, I like to have a fixed page, a page where I store all of those sequences that I want fixed and available to me on all pages. I prefer this to be page one, but it could be anywhere. I'm gonna move these pages around so that I can slot in a fixed page on page one. Common sequences you might like to fix would be things like audience blasters or maybe performer keys or anything that you'd like access to at all times. For example's sake, I'm gonna take the ores to full, put them into the straight out position and give them a bit of color and zoom. Now I'll store that on fader one of page one and call this odd for our example. I want this sequence on every page, so hit the fix key followed by any button on executor one. Clear out, and if you change pages, you can see that the sequence is available on all pages. Now we'll write our first macro, one to trigger the top of the simple sequence on page two. There are a variety of ways to write this macro. You can even include variables that reference the names of songs and pages, but I'm a big fan of numbers, so I'm gonna show you the numeric method, which is dead simple. Hit edit and touch the block where you wanna store this macro. In the edit window, click add. Okay, now we can start inserting our command lines. The first one I want is a command to take me to the page where my sequence lives, so the command here is page two. My second line will say, off page two through. You might be wondering why I'm saying this. Okay, I wanna make sure that when I start the sequence that all my other pages are off except for the page with the fixed items, page one. So I'm including everything from page two onward. When you use the through key and no number following it, the console will assume you want all numbers following the first number. And yes, I'm including page two, the page that I'm calling up with this macro, because I'm going to be making copies of this macro for other songs, and this will keep things uniform. Don't worry, I can still trigger a look on page two from this macro, and we'll get there in a moment. My next line is going to be select executor 15, because that's where my main sequence resides, and I want my cue list view to refresh when I come to this page. Notice that I didn't say executor 2.15. That's very specific and would work for page two, but again, I wanna make copies of this for other song pages and I keep my main sequence on each page's fader 15, so I won't have to make a lot of edits in my new macros. Lastly, I wanna trigger my first look with this macro, so I'll say go Q1 executor 15. Great. For me, this is the bare minimum I keep in my song page macros, so I'll label it simple song and close this editor. The best way to test this is to switch to a different page and then press the macro. Perfect. I'm on the page, my sequence is selected, and Q1 is live. If I had another song playing on another page, this macro would have released it. Let's make a macro for our time-coded page. Simply copy your first macro, rename it, and enter the editor. Since the timecode sequence is on page three, Update the first line to be page three. Now, because I've kept my style of always storing my main sequence looks to fader 15, that's all I have to do. Give it a try. Like I said, the lines I've included are the bare minimum that I would want to have in my song page macros, but there's plenty more you could add. Perhaps you want to recall a view, or maybe you have a time-coded show and need to trigger a time-code track. Play around with adding in anything else you want the console to automate by adding more lines. Here's the last tip I want to include here. 
Because we're basing our macros on the page number, do not move your pages around unless you want to update your macros. Leave the pages as they are. But you are totally free to move the macros around in any order that makes sense. Some people like them to be alphabetical, or perhaps you want to reorder them each night to match the setlist order.